The visit by U.S. President Barack Obama no doubt provided the biggest test on whether or not the Kenyan security forces were up to the task of managing security. Now, it took close to four months for the National Police Service to prepare for this visit. KTN's Rita Tinina spoke exclusively to the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, who says he is very proud of his team's performance. For many, the inconvenience of locked roads affecting daily routines for close to 48 hours was perhaps the closest experience of the visit by U.S. President Barack Obama. But for the National Police Service, it took more than three months to prepare for the less than 48-hour visit by the most powerful leader in the world. We actually began planning for it uh, as early as April. Um, Agents from the U.S. began coming in an increasing number as the D-Day drew close. And uh, we paired ourselves alongside themselves right from the airport to the routes, to the hotels that they were resident in. When Obama landed in the country, it was a show of might by the police force. From aerial surveillance, symmetrical distance surveillance, street patrols, crowd control to the escort of dignitaries. The police were everywhere. Kenyan officers worked alongside American security agents, but there was one clear distinction. But Americans, although they were very firm, they dealt with, the, with the, everyone they encountered with civility. And this is what we are in, 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 trying to inculcate in the National Police Service, that they need to deal with our countrymen and women with civility. Firmly, but with civility. Mm. That's what is sometimes lacking on our part. For the Inspector General of Police, the months of planning paid off. And the National Police Service has learned several lessons from the Obama visit. I think the principle amongst the, the lessons we learned, in my view, is the importance of planning early. Mm. Planning early and paying attention to the minutest detail. And not... Um, uh, making any assumptions. Boynet says resources proved a challenge in some instances, but he is one man proud of the men and women in uniform. They did, they did their job very well. And I must, and I must say, of fact, I have actually written to them to commend them for doing a fantastic job. And uh, I've, also been, I've also heard from folks that, uh, that they never knew our police men and women could do such, such a great job. Obama came and went. For the police, it was a visit that was more of a test. With lessons learned, the police force managed to handle one of its biggest assignments. Rita Tinina, KTN News.